Charles Darwin was born on February 12, 1809, in Shrewsbury, England, to a wealthy and intellectual family. His father, Robert Darwin, was a physician, and his mother, Susanna Darwin, was from the Wedgwood family of pottery fame. Darwin showed an early interest in nature, collecting insects and studying plants. However, his academic performance was not particularly remarkable. He attended Edinburgh University to study medicine, but found it distasteful. Later, he transferred to Christ's College, Cambridge, intending to become a clergyman. At Cambridge, he developed a passion for natural history, influenced by professors such as John Stevens Henslow. In 1831, at the age of 22, Darwin embarked on a journey that would change his life and the world of science forever. He joined the HMS Beagle as a naturalist for a five-year voyage to map the coastlines of South America. During this voyage, Darwin collected a vast array of specimens, including fossils, plants, and animals. His observations of species in different environments, particularly in the Galapagos Islands, led him to question the then prevailing view that species were immutable and created separately. After returning to England in 1836, Darwin began to analyze his findings and correspond with other scientists. He spent the next two decades researching, experimenting, and developing his ideas on natural selection. Influenced by the work of geologist Charles Lyell and economist Thomas Malthus, Darwin formulated his theory that species evolve over time through a process he called natural selection. This theory proposed that individuals with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing those traits on to subsequent generations. Darwin published his groundbreaking book, On the Origin of Species, in 1859. The book presented evidence for evolution and introduced the mechanism of natural selection. It was met with both acclaim and controversy, challenging traditional religious views of creation. The scientific community largely accepted his ideas, though debates continued for years. In the years following the publication, Darwin continued to write and publish works on biology, including books on orchids, earthworms, and human evolution, The Descent of Man in 1871. Despite suffering from chronic illnesses, possibly contracted during the Beagle voyage, Darwin remained an active scientist. He lived in relative seclusion at his home, Downhouse, in Kent, where he continued his research and corresponded with other scientists. Charles Darwin died on April 19, 1882, and was buried in Westminster Abbey, London, alongside other prominent British figures. His theory of evolution through natural selection became a cornerstone of modern biology, profoundly influencing our understanding of life on Earth. Today, Darwin is remembered as one of the greatest naturalists and scientists in history.